we will be making this dress, though not in pink. Actually, I'm wearing this dress, so you will see me make this dress. Okay, here's the fabric that I chose and the pattern that I'm going to adapt to make this dress. Margot Robbie's dress had uh, spaghetti straps, so the halter was going to be um, not used in this one and I was going to add spaghetti straps. I had to do a fair amount of planning. Um, you always have to when you're working with a plaid or a checkered fabric. So I had to plan out where these pieces would meet on the finished project. And um, if you know anything about me, it's kind of hard for me to think um, about what the finished, finished dress will look like. So I had to really bend my brain. While I knew I couldn't get these uh, checkered um, little squares to uh, match up perfectly, I wanted, it to, I wanted them to at least line up and for it to look symmetrical. My main goal was to make it look intentional, uh, like I had planned to do it that way. So that, 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 was, that was what I was looking for. And to do that, I had to make sure that these pieces were mirror images of themselves on the fabric. So I had to line them up pretty darn near perfect. Barbie perfect. I am a bit of a perfectionist, so it wasn't too tall in order. It just took a little bit of time. Just FYI, um, you won't hear any review of the film on my channel. Um, you won't see any spoilers here. Um, because I haven't seen the film yet and I may not go and see the film. Um, too many movies these days have some kind of political agenda or some, something, something. Um, and I kind of don't like the fact that Barbie left the dream world and went to the real world. I watch movies to escape the real world. Yeah. I swear, every time I lined up this fabric perfectly, I heard an imaginary fairy ding, so I had to stick them in. Cutting out the bodice was a little bit trickier. I didn't want a heart-shaped um, neckline, and uh, it had to be kind of centered, you know. I, I wanted it centered, you know, and to look symmetrical. So, uh, yeah, I had to make this happen. I've seen a couple of make with me's that make this dress in pink, um, but I'd never seen one where they comment on how it looks vintage. So that's the attribute I'll be featuring. Cutting out the skirt portion was pretty straightforward. I just wanted to make sure that I cut them out um, on a line on the check fabric. One thing I love about this pattern, which will motivate me to make it again, is the pockets. Look at that. My mom was in town, so we uh, went up to the lake with family for a much needed break. What you doing, Anakin? Oh, oh, you want a drink? You want a drink? Is that what you want? Yeah. I was surprised with how calm my little uh, Anakin was in the boat, in the raft. Even though I didn't have a life jacket for him yeah. yet, um, I did have him secure in the boat. Well, mostly secure. But he was really rather chill um, out on the raft. As long as he's with me, he's he behaves. It was really pretty trippy too because this thunderstorm was coming in. We could hear thunder in the distance. And despite applying sunscreen twice, I got a really bad burn. 
though that squeaky sound you hear is just a bit of ASMR that I thought I'd leave in um, to add to the ambiance of what it's like to go to the lake and be on a raft with me. Something you didn't ask for, but you're welcome. So the next day with a newly minted sunburn, I uh, was regretting that I wasn't making this a halter top dress, but I reminded myself that this is this is like the screen accurate Barbie one, except it isn't pink. So spaghetti straps. As you can see, uh, Anakin was rather clingy that day, um, so he he had to be in he had to be a part of every step of sewing that day. Maybe he was still tired from the lake uh, the day before, or uh, maybe he could actually tell that there was a storm coming in. I'm not sure. My sunburn was making me feel a little ill. And, uh, but I, I, I do like to tackle my biggest or hardest dragons first. Um, and this bodice, this bodice was complicated because of the way I had to uh, precisely match this check fabric. The bodice is also where the most of the alterations to this pattern took place. And yes, I know, I'm um, ironing awkwardly, but you can see that I'm a little sunburned on my arms too. I'm one of those sewists, seamstresses, whatever you want to call us, that um, understands the importance of ironing as you go or pressing as you go. It makes for a more professional finished product. Next up was making those spaghetti straps. I have this tool that makes turning the straps um, so much easier. I tucked them back inside themselves so I didn't even have to stitch the ends. And then I just had to figure out the placement of the straps. And once I did, I just sewed it together. Um, the bulk of the hardest part of this dress um, was complete. Pressing a garment also makes it easier to sew so that it won't fight you while you're at the sewing machine. Um, I'm pressing this now so that I can do the last step in this bodice, which is the understitching, which helps the lining stay inside the garment and not show at the neckline. And look, so pretty and symmetrical. These serious pockets have me seriously interested in making this pattern again. This is a preview of how my Chihuahua will be during the winter months when it starts raining and snowing. And seriously, it was raining outside.
Take a look. We usually don't get these storms this early in the year. Usually, this is something that doesn't happen till the end of October. But uh, it was early this year, and we've been getting some wetter weather in California. So, yeah, the, the storm was pretty loud and pretty wet. And there was a river um, going down the middle of our road. Um, and for some reason, I could not stop recording vehicles going through this river. Yeah, there it is. But um, sometimes concerning rain especially, I am kind of obsessive compulsive, especially when it comes to artistic shots that I think only I think are artistic. Back to the dress, the next thing I had to put in were these box pleats. And judging by the screenshots I'd um, found, they went all the way around the dress. I'm not a big fan of thimbles, um, but there were so many layers by this time that I really had to use one just to get the needle to go through all those layers of fabric. I was nearing the end of this project and I was putting in the last few things that this dress required. There's the hook and eye and the zipper. I love invisible zippers. I was finally at the last step and I was getting tired of looking at all this green. But it, green is much better than pink though. Um, so I was going to put this, uh, the final part of this in by hand, but I was putting in the lace, the flexi tape, hem tape so that I was preparing it so that I could do it by hand. While I watched one of my favorite movies, it had been raining, so I was in the mood for Sleepless in Seattle. One of my all-time favorite romantic comedies. They sure don't make them like they used to. If you agree, um, please type in Sleepless in Seattle in the comment section, and then I will know that I'm not alone in my opinion. The chemistry between Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks was chef's kiss. Now I know what you must be thinking. What about Barbie's belt and other accessories? Well, I found this vintage belt buckle on um, eBay and uh, my husband is painting it for me here. And I think it turned out pretty nice. As for Barbie's other accessories, well, there was a sale on beads at Joann's and uh, they weren't exactly the right flowers, but it'll do. The jewelry set combined with a obnoxious green dangly bracelet like Barbie's, only hers is pink, should fit the bill. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Between the retro Barbie-ish style sunglasses, a vintage purse, and the cardigan that really makes it look vintage and covers up my sunburn, I think I did rather well on this accessorizing this Barbie style dress. 
And of course, the pockets. I gotta love, oh God, I love those pockets. Ugh. Also, I discovered another use for this dress. It's very practical. Barbie is a social butterfly, but if you're like me, um, you aren't, aren't, you're, you're, you're an antisocial butterfly. So this, uh, this dress can be really helpful at uh, large family picnics or company barbecues um, to blend in to the tablecloths. And trust me, nobody will know you're even there. Thanks for watching till the end. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you like this kind of content, um, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I post vintage and historical fashion content and a lot of cute puppy content. Um, and I like to explore the mountain. Um, and I think that's about it. So, and uh, this is Mountain June saying bye now. So what do you think? Do you like that? Because you made a beautiful dress, Mom. And it's not pink. It's not pink. Yeah, it's a good boy. That's my good boy. Did you? Did you like my video? Did you like my video? So thanks for sneezing all over my skirt. Hey, you come up here. You come up here. Here's mom, but this is a new place, and I wanna. This is. This is this. This is how we should explore the great outdoors. On a blanket, on a bench, in a new place. We found this stone garden labyrinth while we were out location scouting on the mountain. And um, it's a really nice place, but I can't wait to come back in the fall because these trees will be on fire with color. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I can't wait for September when I can say, Happy Fall, y'all!